What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover two methods that are useful when you want to split collections, which are the collapse and split methods. We're going to start off with the collapse method, which is a method that allows you to collapse a multi-dimensional collection into a single dimension. This can be useful when you're working on a complex data structure and you want to simplify things out. I currently have a simple collection on my screen with ordered items, and each order has multiple line items. Now let's say that we only need to get a list of all the items in the orders, and we don't want the other crap data that we have inside our collection, so let's say that we don't want the IDs. In situations like these, we could use the, let me scroll to the bottom, collapse method. Let's define a new variable named items, and let's set it equal to the orders collection, where we can then chain the pluck method to it to extract the items array from each order. So let's pass in an argument of items, which will basically grab this part of the multidimensional array, and let's then chain the collapse method to it, which will merge all those arrays into a single collection of items. In the output, you will see that the collapse method returned a new collection that is a single dimensional collection where all the items from the original multidimension collection have been merged together. The second method that I want to cover is useful when you want to split a collection into chunks of smaller collections, which can be done through the split method. And this can be useful when you're dealing with large collections of data and you want to break them down in more manageable chunks. Let's dive into our example. Let's say that you have a collection of blog posts that you want to display on your website. However, you don't want to display all those posts at once because that can be overwhelming for your users. Instead, you want to display them in smaller chunks, such as 5 posts per page. To achieve this, we can use the split method. But before we do that, uh, let's get rid of our orders array, let's define a new variable named post, and let's set it equal to the collect method. Let's then pass in an array, another array where the title is equal to post1, where the body is equal to, let's say, test. So what I want to do right now is basically duplicating the array that we have inside our collection 10 times. Give me a moment, all right. And I want to rename the titles to post two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I missed one, so let's make 10 as well. All right. Then outside of our collection, we're going to define a new variable named chunks, which we're gonna set equal to our post collection, and then we're gonna chain the split method to it. The split method accepts a single parameter. This parameter can be either an integer or a callback function that returns a Boolean value. If an integer is passed, the collection will be split into chunks of that size. If a callback function is being passed in, the collection will be split whenever the function returns true. In the current scenario, let's pass in five. Let's quickly comment out the collapse method that we have defined before. And once we perform our request, you will see that the split method has returned a new collection of collections where it has grouped them in groups of two. So we have collection number one, which basically has post number one and two. Then we have another collection for post three and four, another collection for five and six, another one for seven and eight, and the last one for post nine and 10. So from 10 rows, it has created five collections where each collection has a total of two posts. Quick summary, the collapse method allows you to collapse a multi-dimensional collection into a single dimension, while the split method allows you to split a collection into chunks of smaller collections. In the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at three methods that are useful for sorting collections by their values. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.